Dub C here, we're back on the Survival Saturday. Now I'm getting out here late tonight because life happens. But I got some cool stuff to try. I'm really lucky I got actually a light sent to me by Hoka Light that I'm really excited to try out. It's a camping lantern. I got it set up right now. Give me some light so I can set up camp. I also got some paracord sent in by Belite, the same company that actually sent me that awesome water straw filter uh, that pumps. They sent me a bunch of paracord to check out as well, so I'll be kind of checking out. We'll look at more kinds in the morning. I actually set up uh, the line up here, and I got my light hanging, and I got a thermorest because mosquitoes are still really bad. And I also have a Turkish 24-hour ra ration. This is the chicken menu. Um, I'm really excited to check this out, and uh, it's dinner time. So let's bust it open and see what we got. Okay, I got my lamp set up, and uh, let's go ahead and bust in this meal. Now, I did get this from MRE Empire. And uh, they always have some awesome rations. I always get them in a timely fashion. Uh, never had this menu before. I'm really excited to check it out. It is for 24 hours. It is the chicken menu. It did get opened, but it's okay. It happens. I'm not going to worry about it. I just replaced the main. So let's go ahead and start with everything else. This is a really uh, cool looking ration. It does come with a heater bag. So I thought that was really interesting. And with that heater bag, I believe it comes with... The heaters to go with it. There's the MRE heaters and it comes with that. I thought that was really uh, unique, really cool. So we have the three meal heaters and then we've got accessory kit. We'll go through that in a minute. We have some black olives, really cool. We have a filter coffee. So I don't know if that's a, like a pour through. That's really awesome for breakfast. Then we have a tube. And I believe this is the hazelnut cream cocoa. So let's see if I can zoom in on that. Sorry about the lighting. It is nighttime. I do have my lantern, but we'll see how it works out. Then we have a date nut bar. We have a, uh, looks like halva. And I didn't even know about this until uh, Old Smokey actually told me about it, told me to try it. I really liked it. And um, I'm very excited it's in the ration. we got another tube. This looks to be um, basically flower honey. So that's really cool. I like the tubes. It's like a, almost reminds me of like a, the space food. we got some cream cheese. Again, another item I've never seen in a ration like this. we got a pack of tortillas. And it's actually full size, like not half, not folded, full size. So that's really awesome. Looks like we got a chickpea tomato sauce. So that's really cool. That's the uh, one of the mains. We have a like a pull off with green lentils. So it's another main. I'm not sure if these are like breakfast or dinner. We got a hot beverage bag. Actually, four hot beverage bags. And then we have some whole wheat pasta. So I don't know if that actually goes with the chickpeas and tomato sauce, but lots of great options. The one item that was missing was actually a retort chicken curry. That's all good. I got a Mountain House yellow curry. It's a chicken and rice freeze dried. Okay, and the accessory kit. Comes in a nice, uh, looks like a resealable bag. Okay, we got a tea. Looks like some sugar, some stir sticks. That's something you'll see. Stir sticks, we got some toothpicks. Looks like three toothpicks. Three stir sticks. We have a fork and a knife, a napkin, big old spoon. Wow. We got, uh, looks like maybe a mint tea. Like some moist naps, three of them. Got some pepper and uh, some red hot pepper, and some more sugar. It actually has what you're supposed to have on for dinner, and um, I don't know if I can show it the best, but uh, has breakfast, lunch, and dinner on there. And dinner it actually calls for the chicken with curry, whole wheat pasta, and the halva. So um, I don't know if I'll have the pasta with it, but I'll have the tortillas. I got the hot water. Warming up. I got these. I think these are moist towelettes. So I'm gonna go and clean up with one of these. Actually, has a like a floral scent to it. It's really nice. It's actually kind of small, but all you're doing is wiping your hands. 
Okay, I have no luck with the utensils. Trying to clean that, broke it, so I'm going to have to upgrade. It's very uh, thin plastic, similar to other spoons I've seen in other rations. Okay, I've never had this one before. This is the Mountain House Yellow Curry. I got the action pack out, but that actually looks really nice. Lots of vegetables. Uh, hopefully it's got a lot of meat in there, but I see lots of vegetables, the rice, and then the seasoning. Forgot to add the drink. I'm actually going to get the uh, tea going, so have some uh, late night tea. We get the hot water into the yellow curry main. And these uh, tortillas, it looks like they can be across all meals, so I'm just going to go and open them up. It actually comes with one, two, three, four, five, so that's really nice. Okay, here's the tea. Just opens up. Let's go ahead and throw it in here real quick. Oops. I got the hot water for a tea. Just going to place it in there. Let that sit. I got some sugar for the tea as well. But I also seen this um, red pepper. So I got that for the curry. It's almost ready to go. And these are actually full size tortillas. Let's go ahead and pull one out. Pull them all out. Got a mosquito on there. Gotta be careful not to rip them. I should probably should have warmed them up like I do the other ones. But they're really nice looking. They're sticking a little bit right there. Yep. So we'll just set them down. Slowly try to separate them. It's probably where the they've just been sitting with a lot of pressure on them inside the ration. The tea is ready to go. So we're gonna pull it out. Looks like the piece of paper got stuck in there. That's all right. I think a giant bug fell in there too, but got that out. Go ahead and add my sugar. I believe these are stir sticks. Whoops, making a mess. So I just use this to stir, but I'd probably just use the spoons. Did no notice one thing, it actually comes with a water purification tab as well. It was in the accessory kit. Okay, it's time to try this yellow curry out. Perfect consistency. Oh, it smells amazing. Looks like a peas, peppers. Go ahead and try it out. Okay, right off the bat, I'm calling this is one of my favorite mountain house entrees. The seasoning's really good. It could use a little heat, but I got the red pepper to put on it. But there's actually a decent amount of chicken in it. The vegetables are very tender, have a nice bite to them. The rice, but the seasoning is spot on. I'm going to go ahead and put some on a tortilla and uh, spice it up a little bit. We got this uh, red pepper. Let's go ahead and load that up. So it looks pretty hot. So well, we got some salt, but I uh, believe I have some pepper as well in the accessory kit. Doesn't need any salt. It's actually got a decent amount already. So I'm just going to add some of the black pepper. And it's finely ground. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, that's gone. I love that. I love these tortillas. They actually have such a great flavor to them. And uh, I mean, they're different from tortillas I'm used to uh, but overall there's like a little grit to them I'm not sure what it is maybe uh, like a flour or uh, like a cornmeal or something that's what it reminds me of but putting the yellow curry the curry chicken on top of the tortilla putting them together putting the red pepper on the pep the black pepper fantastic I mean that main combined with the tortillas is probably like one of the better I've had out of a ration in a while so really good. I would definitely recommend this one. And do, you got to try these tortillas. They are amazing. Okay, that is absolutely gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to dessert. But first I'm going to try out the tea. Okay, the tea is nice. Has an, actually pretty bitter. Um, definitely needs two sugars. I only put one in there. But I don't mind that because I'm going to use some contrast of the, I think it's tahine halva. So we're going to open that up and try this out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just break a piece off. Okay, that is amazing. That is a perfect dessert for right now. Um, really enjoyable. I actually love the texture, and like I said, I never got to try this before until Old Smoke Me told me about it, and I've been trying it out ever since. It's a fantastic addition to this ration, and again, perfect for uh, dessert. Now, this could be used for breakfast too, uh, but I was just, I don't know, I'm just going to add some to the halva. I'm just going to try it by itself first. This is the Hazelnut cream cocoa. I don't know if it's like Nutella. We'll go ahead and try it out. 
Yeah, it's very similar to Nutella, very creamy, very rich, um, perfect for breakfast. So I'm gonna show you to save that, but I definitely wanted to try it out. Okay, this is an awesome dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up and make sure I got camp ready to go. Okay, I got a fire going. I used the lamp to, uh, it's the Hokey Light camping lamp to uh, set up thing. I got the Belight paracord line. I got the bug net. I'm running gold armor bug net with a gold armor tarp. I got a whoopee uh, for the bottom blanket and then the swagman roll for the top blanket. Okay, one thing that this, uh, I mean, a lot of paracords are coming up with the reflective um, built in, which is really nice. This is the purple uh, kind, and I'm not sure of the thickness, but this is actually pretty thick paracord. And it has the, I believe the 12 strands, but I'm just showing the reflective capabilities of it. Really helps when you're going around camp and you know, you have your light on, it pops up right away. So you're not gonna get hit by it. You're not gonna trip on it. Um, it's basically, that's why it's designed because it shows up really good. I don't think I can show it as good as I, I'd like to on the camera. Okay, it's bedtime. I actually had to set up the tarp because um, it's supposed to rain. I'm probably about middle through the night, but no worries. And then I'll, I got the lamp right here, still working good. I'll show more detail on both the lamp and the paracord tomorrow, as well as get into breakfast and lunch on that uh, Turkish ration. So lights out. Okay, it's morning time. I have my pre-breakfast coffee, just taster's choice in my wooden cup. I didn't uh, sleep the best last night. It's still, still pretty hot and um, it's some, it was dipping down to like 50s here, but last night I'd say about like, uh, stayed about 70. And uh, yeah, it just makes it tough to sleep. Uh, and the mosquitoes, they, again, they, they calm down a little bit, but as soon as that heat picks back up. But as promised, I want to talk more about the, the light. It's uh, from Hokey Light and then the Belight um, Paracord. Just, you know, show some, some of the specifics and how it worked. I mean, overall, I really I think the paracord worked well, holding up the tarp and, um, you know, securing everything else. And then the um, light gave me the light to do so throughout the night. So it was really nice. And I also have that Turkish 24-hour uh, ration. I'm going to dip into breakfast here pretty quick. Okay, first we're going to check out the Hoka Light Lantern. This is a high-power rechargeable lantern. It's good for camping, hiking, emergency fishing, and home, or any other, any other thing you could use it in. Um, it does have the features such as uh, three COB uh, LED bulbs creating up to, uh, like it's really bright. It actually has four settings. And then I really like that it has a top handle. You can hold it just like a lantern. But also I used it a lot last night as it has this hook, S hook on the bottom where I could just hook it right to the paracord and it could give me all kinds of light that way. And then it has, um, it's got uh, rechargeable batteries inside and I'll show the charging port in just a moment. But the cool thing is you can actually charge your phone off this as well. So it's got the charging cord in which you charge it to full and it actually strobes red when it gets low. And I, I used it all last night and it did not get low. So it actually held up pretty good. But you can charge it up with this, a USB, and then you can also use it to charge other things. So I'm going to try using, uh, charging my phone right now. Okay, so I have the USB plugged into it, and I got to go ahead and plug it in right here. And it should show it's charging. Yep. So you can charge your um, USB devices right off the lantern as well. So that's another great feature. So it's got a really strong construction as well. Um, you can tell it's very durable. And I'm glad because last night I actually jumped off the line when I, I pulled the paracord too tight and it kind of flung it off. And hit the ground, no problem, still works. No, no issues. It's got the three features, super bright. I used the fourth setting a lot because I didn't need too much light. But so is the running times. Um, one to two hours on high, two to three hours on medium. 4 to 5 on low, and then over 18 hours on the fourth setting. Because I was using that one, and like I said, I, it's still fully charged, ready to go. Down in the description, I'll have a link for this product, as well as the website that it came from, uh, Hokey Light, and it has they have all kinds of other lights, and uh, like work lights and stuff like that, that I think would work out pretty good. Okay, it's breakfast time, and I got the cream cheese, 
the coffee, black olives. I'm supposed to use tortillas in breakfast, um, but I do have some leftovers, so no big deal. You got the, I think this is the Nutella, the hazelnut, cocoa cream, and then we have the honey. And the cream cheese I'm used to having on bagels. Um, never had one on a tortilla, but I'm guessing I'd probably put the cream cheese with the olives. Let's try that out. And then the coffee. Uh, I want to see how this filters out. All right, so this is the coffee, and looks like the expiration date for all this is 2023, so fairly new. Okay, so it's very similar to some of the pour overs that like Jack of Trade sent me. Kind of pull it over like that, and we'll set it on a cup, and we'll get that going. It's a little bit more difficult on the wooden cup because it kind of like uh, it's kind of too big. But if I hold the sides, it does all right. There's nothing really to prepare. I'll go ahead and get the coffee done, and then I'll start making some stuff up. Like I said, this is a pour-over coffee, which is really nice. Gives you that fresh coffee taste instead of just the instant. And all you do is kind of put that on top, and then you can rip this. This is usually uh, perforated. And then you have your coffee. And then you just dump your hot water in that, and basically brew your coffee live. And as soon as the hot water passes through the grains, get your coffee at the bottom. Okay, now let's bust out these uh, black olives. I think this is the first time I've seen these in a ration. All right, so they're a little bit oily, and they're also, they have the pit in them. So it'd be something you'd have to eat as a snack. I'm going to go ahead and try one out. Oh, yeah, these are very potent black olives. And I say I mean potent. Uh, some of the ones I've had out of the can... They're like, um, I don't know if they're just watered down. With the oils, it really makes the flavor very pungent. If you don't like black olives, you're not going to like them. But uh, I don't mind them, so they're actually pretty good. I'm not exactly sure if you're just supposed to eat them as a snack or if you're supposed to like, cut them up and put them on the with the cream cheese. We got three spreads. So we have the cream cheese on the tortilla, which that sounds pretty good. We have the um, hazelnut cocoa cream. And the honey, which both these probably could be put in the coffee, but I like my coffee just like it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open the cream cheese up. Again, another item I don't think I've seen in a ration before. And put some on the tortilla. Okay, here's the cream cheese on the tortilla. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, that was fantastic. It reminded me of cream cheese in a bagel because these tortillas are so good. Um, that works great. I would love to see that more of that in a ration. Um, but let's go ahead and try some of this honey out. And I really like these tubes um, because of how they're set up. I don't see like anything busting out of these. They look much more durable than like a, a jam packet or anything like that. So, you know, that, that's a really good design in my opinion. Let's go ahead and try some of this honey just by itself. It looks really good. The honey by itself is another amazing item to this ration. Um, it's called flower honey. It tastes like just like raw honey. You can, it has granules in it, so it's a little bit crunchy. And I just, I prefer this honey over like a store-bought honey, where you get there and it's like all clear and stuff, and it just has just this like a refined flavor. This is like unrefined in my opinion. I'm not sure the process, how it's made, but that's how it tastes. But I'm going to try some on a tortilla. and try that now with the tortilla it has like a sweet and savory flavor but i just prefer the honey by itself uh just a nice treat just to have it put in with the honey maybe in the cream cheese but i am going to try pairing the cream cheese with the hazelnut cocoa spread first i'm going to try some of this coffee i made the coffee with about eight ounces of water and it's nice um has a nice uh, roasted bitter it is a little bit better so a little bit of sugar probably wouldn't hurt it but the, having that um, pour over coffee, what a difference compared to like the instants. All right, now go ahead and make a kind of a breakfast mega bite. So I've already tried the uh, cocoa by itself, but we'll get like a little sweet and savory, a little cream cheese and the cocoa spread on there. Try that out. Okay, pairing the cream cheese and the uh, hazelnut cocoa spread remind me of like a eclair, like a chocolate cream, and then the tortilla has the carrier. It was so good. 
It was a little bit, um, the cream cheese a little bit more sour, but again, sweet and savory, mixed up really good. The sweetness of the hazelnut spread really, really kicked it up. But really interesting breakfast. Uh, one I'm not used to, but still really fun to try. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up and then take a look at that pear cord. Okay, so this is the Belight pear cord. It has so many different options. They, uh, they sent me a bunch to check out and try out. And this is just going to be a preview because I hope to continue to use this, especially this one, and I'll show you why in a minute, um, throughout all of my adventures because there's just so many different options, so many different ways you can use it. For example, this is the like light equipment in deep travel. It's like a thinner paracord. It still has the reflective, uh, reflective strands in it, so that's really nice. This is what I used last night. This is 100% nylon, seven strands, 550 pounds, lightweight, easy to carry, highly reflective. I think they have multiple colors. And then this one is a 10 strand core, so it's a little bit heavier with the 650 pounds. Shocker 71 actually used this to make uh, molly straps on his knife. I will show pictures of that right now. Did a really awesome job on his knife sheath uh, putting that molly strap on there he's able to put the other gear on there so it's really nice um, so that's really cool and then these ones are four millimeter reflective paracorder with adjusters these uh it's like four pack and the best thing about all this is if you need paracord right now go here and i'll give you a discount code it'll be down in the description but i'll go ahead and put it at the bottom of the screen now and that way you can get uh i think it's five percent off your total order but this is one I'm really excited for. So this is the Survival Paracord Spool. This is 12 strands. In that strand, you have nine cord, one fire tender, one fishing line, and one metal cord. So that one I can definitely get a lot of use out of. And it's uh, 330 foot or 100 meters. So that's a lot in there, but let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside it. Okay, so I'm not sure if we'll see this. This is actually really cool. So we have the fishing line right here. That's built in to all the strands. We got the metal strand right here. And that would be for uh, building snares or other things you can do. It actually is pretty thin, but you don't need much. I know other cords have a thicker wire in there, and it actually makes it difficult to move around this wire. This wire, this paracord actually was easy to maneuver, and I'll, I'll continue to test it, but very, very interesting. And here's the tender. So that tender is actually really thick, and it's got like a wax coating. Definitely could start a fire real easy with that if you rough it up. And it has all the, uh, again, the nine neutral strands that you can actually break apart and do all kinds of stuff. Okay, so far I've really enjoyed Belight's products. I really think these paracord, all these paracord items are going to work great. I'm going to continue to test them. Um, I was really impressed with their uh, portable water filter straw, which I'll put a link for that video right now. They had a pump in it, and that was very, very creative and really helps collect water for a whole camp if you need to. And I'm very impressed with this 12-strand one uh, survivor cord. A lot of the improvements from other survivor cords I've seen, and i um, very excited to continue to try these. So in my future survival Saturday videos or MRE reviews, probably see a lot more of these uh, products being tested. So uh, definitely check out that. Okay, this is a fire tender. I'll try that. I mean, the traditional method, you can probably throw a spark on it. But if you have a survival lighter or a Bic lighter, it starts right up. But now we'll go ahead and try to uh, throw some spark on it. But it has a nice burn time. And this is in the survival uh, paracord. Okay, it works with uh, ferro rod as well. Okay, it's lunchtime, and for the lunch we're supposed to have chickpeas and tomato sauce. One problem with that is, looks like I got a pinhole at the corner, and it actually is leaking out. Um, so I cannot have the chickpeas, unfortunately, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. But that's okay, because we have the whole wheat pasta that was uh, supposed to be eat for dinner. So we'll have the whole wheat pasta. The I think This is a pilaf with green lentils, so I'm excited to try that. And we finally get to try the heater. So... 
go ahead and get the MRE chemical heater out. And this is just like a bag with a retort on it. I don't know if it has a vent on it. Hopefully it does. Yeah, it does. So these are really nice because you can just throw the heater uh, right in there and it heats up through the vent. And I'm pretty sure due to this heating method being so effective uh, that I could probably heat up both these mains, the whole wheat pasta in this one with just one heater. This looks like one of the heater bags you can pull out. We'll go ahead and place that in there. And I'm going to set one main on each side. And then add water and let it go. Okay, you got both the mains in there with the heating pad. Or, yeah, heating pad waiting for it to activate. Go ahead and try the date nut bar while we're waiting for that to warm up. It's got a really cool exterior. Let's go ahead and try a piece. Oh, this is pretty awesome. I've had date bars before. Oh, looks like our heater's taking off. Like I said, I've had date bar bars before in like Russian rations and stuff. The cool thing about this one is it has the, I don't know if you guys have had the nutty donut where they have the nuts all ground up on the edges. It has that flavor with the nut topping that's on the date bar and it really adds to it. It really is a nice touch. Now this did come with the um, another tea, but I'm not really feeling the tea right now. I'm just going to have the mains. We should be good to go. Go ahead and get the peel off with the green lentils out first pretty warm heater bags working great um, it's kind of what it looks like I think I've had anything like this before but uh, go ahead and try it out oh man this stuff is pretty awesome it has um <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy but it actually tastes like a1 steak sauce seasoning on all this mix and uh, I mean all it is is some onion green lentil tomato vegetable oil sunflower I mean the oil does come through a little bit and that really gives it like a and it has a pomegranate syrup i don't know what the combination is but it is fantastic and i'm really glad i got to try it all right now i believe the pasta is done it still feels pretty hard but it is hot take a look and see what we got there you got it open and probably be better with the like the chickpeas or something the sauce because i think it's just pasta let's go ahead and try it Okay, this is a really interesting take on retort noodles. Now, freeze-dried, they'd, they'd probably reconstitute a lot better. These are pretty um, pretty dense, even when warmed up. It is it is cool because when they taste just like a noodle that you'd boil, um, but it definitely needs the sauce or one of the other mains to mix with because it's very bland. All right, and that was the lunch. Uh, pretty awesome. It was very interesting combinations, but um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and we'll head to recap. Okay, time for the recap on the overnight, the gear, and the food. The overnight, I got out here really late, wanted to set up camp, and luckily I had this Hokalite camping lantern. It really helped out. I put it on the uh, last setting, and that was plenty of light to get me set up, even in pure darkness. So it worked out really well, and you can even recharge your phone on it. That's awesome. So I'm going to continue to try this, just like any other product I try on my More Adventures Come, More to Come. But I think it's a durable product. The uh, link for this product and the website for other products will be down below. And now the Blight Paracord. I had many options to choose from, lots to use. I'm most excited for the Survival Paracord Spool. I think that's awesome that it actually has 12 strands, one being fishing line, one being wire, and one being fire tender, and then nine cords to do whatever you need as well. And it's, it's 550 pounds for strength, so it's the same standard strength, but a lot of good uses out of that. And if anything, you're going to use fire, uh, paracord, you definitely want to use, uh, in a survival situation, this cord because... If you break it down, you have so many other options as far as fishing, you need to start a fire, you got the fire tender, and then the line can set up snares and many other things. So really awesome. I'm excited to use this in future adventures. The link for Belight um, Paracord will be down below. And remember, there's going to be a 5% discount code. I think it's dub 000 but I'll put that down below as well so you can use that to get 5% off your order. And now keep in mind, I also reviewed the Belight uh, Portable Water Filter Straw. That has a pump on it, another great product from them. It'll also be linked down below. For the food, this ration was pretty unique. Uh, one of the more unique rations I've had. It was really interesting breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I did have a compromised, I think, lunch component and the dinner component was taken out. But oh well, I still, I one thing I got to try is that Mountain House Yellow Curry and that was fantastic. But overall, the cream cheese and tortillas, that stuck out to me as like both unique and fantastic because I love bagels and cream cheese and it reminded me that for breakfast. And that's something you don't see in rations that often. I know there's a bagel in the, the first, strike ration, first strike rations, but they're not cream cheese. So I think that's a really awesome ration. I wish I would have got to check it out in like a full, but maybe in the future I'll get another one. I always think it's 
a great time finding new rations, exploring them, and seeing those differences, like the olives and the cream cheese. And I really liked the fact that they had the honey and the, I believe it was a hazelnut cocoa cream in those tubes. I think that's an effective way to put the, that kind of stuff in the ration so it doesn't get exploded or anything like, like that. But again, I'm really excited to try different rations. That's all I got now, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.